this video is a continuation and, and the last part of filling out the, um, the contract as a real world scenario. So um, let's take a look at where, you, where we are so far. So this was a contract which was originally submitted and let's take a look at the contract so we can see all the transactions that have been going on. So the request actually went ahead and submitted the form. Um, the legal administrator's admin um, looked at the form, said the contract document was missing, returned it back into to requester one. That's where the loop um, feature kicked in. Then the administrator said, well, this is the wrong contract, so please submit that uh, correct one. It went back to the requester. Um, that was just to make sure that the loop worked. Um, after the requester uh, submitted back, and the requester said, I'm so sorry, attaches a curtain, completed contract. Then the, um, uh, the legal admin said, okay, the contract looks good, sending it to the attorney. Um, now in this section, we tested the, the loop feature again. So the, uh, the, the attorney force said that the contract information is in inadequate. Please provide more information and send it back to the requester. That was the loop feature over there. Um, then it also, the requester said, I know what the problem is. The reason was blah, 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 um, and sent it back to the attorney. The attorney once again said, does not make any sense, please provide documentation. So the requester went ahead and provided the documentation and sent it back. So right now we are at a phase where the contract has been sent back by the requester and it's sitting with the attorney. So let's go back in over here and I'm gonna log in as the attorney. So when I go over here, I see the current status is attorney reviewing in process and the workflow is statuses with the attorney. So let me go in now and I'm gonna say um, the contract reviewing process is completed. Now negotiate. So I'm gonna now change the current status to negotiating terms and I'm going to hit submit so now the requester one which is over here gets an email contract has attorney has sent you contract for negotiating purposes so basically what I did was just to make sure that the uh, email body was a little different just so that the requester doesn't get confused as to okay what is this email is it, is it the one just for getting more information or is it the one for negotiating? That's why I actually made subtle changes which actually distinguish between the two. So let me as a requester now log into the site. I see the item. Let's say um, this isn't going to work for my department, please revise the contract. What the request is saying is that the, the final contract which the legal department says, uh, set up for them isn't going to work for the department. Uh, I, I'm doing this basically just to test the loop feature over there again. So now the attorney should actually get an email. So let's log into the Outlook web app for attorney for So this is the attorney, um, the email which the attorney gets saying the contract which was sent to request for negotiation has returned and below is a brief description of the contract. And that's the last statement that the requester put in that this isn't gonna work for my department, please revise. So let, now let, let's log into the site as a 24, because the 24 has to respond back. So here I am, I'm logged into the site as a 24, and I'm gonna look into um, this item, the contract item. I see the, um, the last statement which the requester put in. This isn't gonna work for my department, please revise. Um, and the attorney says, okay, how about 
this. Let me change the current status back to negotiating terms. I'm going to hit submit. So let me just click on these to make sure we don't get confused again. Let's log in as requester one. Because requester one will get an email. Okay, and so that's the email. Tony has sent you a contract for negotiating purposes, and that's the last statement. It says, okay, how about this? So now let me log into the requester. Now I'm going to say. Submit. So now let's log in as the attorney for who will get that email. And he does. Attorney for gets the email basically saying the contract was sent to request one for negotiating. And that's the action that works. Let's proceed. So now when I log into the site as a 24, I'm going to complete the transaction and forward it back to the legal administrator. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to log in, say the negotiation process has completed. And you can see all of this is a running discussion over here, which is recorded which is also a bunch of these are actually the loops that are working. So now the last section is a Tony review completed. I hit submit. And I went back to the junk email again. So this is the email now, which me as the legal ad admin get nice. The email says, the contract submitted by request of one has been reviewed and uh, negotiated by a 24 and is now forwarded to you. Okay, so I'm going to log in. And I'm going to look at the contract. I also have access to see all these running discussions that have been going on between the requester one and the attorney four. So I'm going to put in a statement saying, okay, uh, starting the process to set it for a contract executed. So as you can see, you no longer see the contract in the in process. Um, so this is actually a very good example of a real world example of how the the workflow runs. And, and just to make sure we can go back in over here and continue looking at the other steps. So we already looked at the return to request by Tony because that's a loop back process over here, which which are the correct set of conditions and actions I've put. Um, another loop back um, processes over here in the negotiating terms, well, in this set of conditions and actions is uh, when the the attorney sends it back to the requester. And over here, the condition and actions is when the requester sends it back to the attorney. This is when the attorney will complete his process and send it back to the legal admin. And then this is when the legal admin will also complete the process. So here is how I've gone ahead and designed the entire process using uh, the custom list, using InfoPath forms, setting up all the rules over there, setting up the load form rules, and this is the workflow I've built. So building a loop 
or a loop back workflow in SharePoint 2010 is also very much possible. Um, and this is how you do it. So thank you for your time and have a nice day.